Now to our other big story. Now there are two, two Destrehan teachers accused of having sex with a student. And we get the latest on that live from WGNO News anchor Vanessa Bolano. 32-year-old Shelly Dufresne and 24-year-old Rachel Respis, two Destrehan High English teachers, are now facing felony charges out of Jefferson Parish. Kenner Police Chief Michael Glazer now saying the two met with a Destrehan High student after a football game on September 12th and then drove to Respis's Kenner apartment where the three had sex simultaneously that lasted until the early morning hours of the 13th. And then you have an educator that's... Uh... I guess the responsibility is the, the safety and education of children. And when it goes outside those lines, I do believe the community should be outraged. The student, who authorities say is a junior at Destrehan High, is now 17 but was 16 when the alleged relationships began. Former students telling us the three had been hot and heavy for some time, meeting for sex multiple times. And documenting some of their encounters on video. This Rachel Respass was an English teacher of the, the victim last school year. So she did have some type of contact and knew him. Uh, Shelly Dufresne is his current teacher. For Shelly Dufresne, this is her second trip to jail in one week. She's also facing charges out of St. Charles Parish, where authorities believe the relationship continued. According to Dufresne's Destrehan High profile, she's an LSU and Destrehan High alum, graduating from DHS in 2000. She was currently starting her 10th year as a teacher and reveals she's married with three young children and is the daughter of St. Charles Parish Judge Emil St. Pierre. Rachel Respis's profile shows she was starting her second year at DHS and is also an LSU and Destrehan High alum, graduating from high school in 2008. Chief Glazer saying it's an unfortunate incident, but not surprising. Nothing surprises me anymore, really. But I, I, I do believe uh, it's lack of a better judgment. You know, they should have known better. Now, the two turned themselves into Kenner authorities earlier today. As of now, Shelly Dufresne has bonded out at last check. Rachel Respis is still in custody here behind me in Gretna. Now, at this time, authorities are looking for that video evidence. They're combing through cell phones. They're also looking for anyone who has any more information on the exact relationship and in exactly what was going on. Reporting live tonight from Gretna, Vanessa Bolano. Susan, back to you. Oh, Vanessa, I think now that the uh, doors have opened on this case. There's going to be a lot more to come out. Thank you.